Hello. Welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn how to utilize the Build Exam or Worksheet feature on the ExamMate website. With this feature, you are able to create an exam in few minutes, convert it to PDF including header and footer, and share it with others. Start by clicking My Account button on the main page. Then, select Build Exam or Worksheet on the left side menu. In the Create New Exam window, input the exam name in the Exam Name field. Then, press the Create Exam button. If you are not a subscriber on this feature, you will encounter a message regarding your non-subscription status in this feature. You can only create a sample Build Exam consist of five questions for trying purpose, and you won't be able to access recent year's questions. With subscribing in this feature, automatically you will be subscribed in topical past papers and MCQ past papers features. To have full access to this feature, click on Not Subscribed and proceed to the website's subscription page. After purchasing the desired subscription, Click on the Build Exam or Worksheet menu. In the Create New Exam window, input the exam name in the Exam Name field. It is important for the name to be unique and have not used before. Then, press the Create Exam button. On the Edit Exam page, you'll find the name of your exam, and you can view your subscription status here. There are four tabs located at the bottom. In the Select Questions from tab, choose questions from different categories using the drop-down list. The filter options will change based on the type of the selected group. Here, we select the desired curriculum. And here, we choose our desired subject. Then. Here you can see the latest update of your desired curriculum and subject. First, we select the desired topics. Then, select papers. In the next part, we select the desired years. Here, select the season. Finally, select the zones you want. If you do not select any of the options, it will show all items by default. Then we click on the search button. In this section you will see two windows. On the left, you'll see a list of questions you've filtered. If you click on any question, you will see the content of the question in the right window. Next to each question, there is a Select Plus button. You can click on the Select Plus button to add any question to your exam. If you click on the Remove button for a question, it will be removed from your exam. There are four elements at the top of the left window. First, there is the ASC button. By clicking on this button, you can sort your questions according to the exam year in ascending or descending order. The next element shows the number of filtered questions. The next element indicates how many questions will be displayed in this window. To see the rest of the questions, go to the bottom of the window and select the next page. And the last element is the random button. Click the random button. In the opened window, turn on the random questions key. Enter the desired number of questions in the number of questions field. Note that the maximum number you can enter in this field is 75. Click the update button. There are several buttons at the top of the right window. Click on the answer button to view the answers to the questions. You can switch between questions using the next and previous buttons. The share button allows you to share any question you want with others. To see the final list of selected questions, click on the selected questions tab. Next to the tab name, you see two numbers. The first number shows how many questions you have chosen. The second number is the number of the questions you can choose. The value of this number depends on your subscription type. In the left window, you can see the list of selected questions. You can remove a question from your list by clicking on the Remove button. 
You can even change the order of a question by holding down the left click of the mouse on the dotted lines next to each question. At the top of this window, there are two elements, the first of which displays the number of selected questions. And with the Remove All button, you can delete all the selected questions in your list. After questions are selected and configured, proceed to the Settings tab. This tab allows you to customize the exam and answer sheets. There are four sections. The first section belongs to header and footer question sheet settings. Enabling the show specifications of the questions option will display question specifications above each question on the exam sheets. In the question number start at field, specify the initial question number. You can define the text to appear on the left, center, and right of the header. Similarly, you determine the text for the left part of the footer. In the page number start at field, designate the starting page number for the exam. If you select not to activate, show page numbers, page numbers will remain hidden. Lastly, save your configurations by clicking the Save Settings button. In the following section, Header and Footer Answer Settings, you can configure the headers and footers for the answers and save it. At the next section, you can personalize the cover page of the exam. You can input school name, total marks, teacher name, date, subject, time, duration, instructions, and even upload school logo using the Choose File button. Within the Share Settings section, to share your exam, turn on the public key. If you want the recipient to see the answers to the questions, turn on the Share Answers key. Click on the Save Settings button, then click on the Copy Link button. Then you can send this link. An important note, if you add questions from the free resources of the ExamMate website to your exam, you can share them with anyone. Otherwise, if a question from a non-free resource of the website is in your list, your recipient can see your exam if he is a member of the website and has a suitable subscription. Once the settings are completed, navigate to the Export to PDF tab. Here, you'll find four sections. Two sections are designated for question sheets, one for answer sheets, and the last for the cover page. In these sections, you'll observe numbers indicating the number of PDFs created and the monthly limit based on your subscription type. If you choose this mode 1, the system will place several questions on one page. Choosing mode 2 will place only one question per page. Answers have a single mode, with answers arranged as specified. For the cover page, click Export to PDF in the Cover section. Click the Export to PDF button based on the chosen mode for your questions. At the bottom, a list of generated PDF files for the exam is available. In the Name of File column, exam names are listed. The Type column tells you whether your PDF file contains questions for the exam or the answers. The Size column indicates the file size of the PDF. The Created at column displays the creation date of the exam. And the Download column features icons for downloading each file. First, click on the Download Mode 1 icon. This page is your exam question sheet in Mode 1. As you can see, there are multiple questions on each page. And you can see the specifications of the questions. You'll also find the texts you wrote in the header settings displayed here. You can observe which question number starts from. At the bottom of the exam sheet, you can see the page number. 
Additionally, you'll find the text you created in the footer here. Now, click on the Download Mode 2 icon. You'll notice that there's only one question per page in this mode. And the header and footer settings are the same as in mode 1. Click the Download Answers icon. All the answers of the exam are organized in this PDF, following the order you set. And the header and footer settings are also applied. To manage your build exam or worksheet from any page on the ExamMate website, click on your profile picture. In the opened window, select My Built Exams. In the title column, exams are listed and you can sort the list alphabetically. The number of questions column indicates the question count in each exam. The created column displays creation dates and you can sort the list by date. In the Actions column, you'll find tools for managing your exams list. Use the View tool to see the exam's questions and save questions to My Favorite Questions using the heart shapes. The Edit tool allows you to modify the exam. Utilize the Share tool for sharing the exam. The Rename tool permits you to change the exam's name. The Duplicate tool assists in creating a new exam similar to the current one. Lastly, the Delete tool removes the exam. To view your generated PDF exams, click on Profile Picture. Click on the My Generated PDFs option. Here you can see the list of your exams. In the Actions column, you can download and print your exams. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video. For effective usage of ExamMate website features, watch our other videos on the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. Let's prepare for exam, mate.